King News. Femi Fani Kayode shocked everyone as he asked Buhari to resign, that Buhari has not done well and has always picked the wrong people as service chief, has not deemed it right to even look after Nigerians or call for the right things to be done in the country. Femi Fani Kayode has really shocked Nigerians by the outburst saying, this is not politics and I'm not going to be quiet and allow, you know, more Nigerians and more devastation. This man out and have to go. We're not going to allow, you know, people who are incompetent. And he said he's not playing peasant politics with all that is currently on ground that Buhari had, you know, he has to resign. First of all, before he resigned, he should, first of all, sack his service chiefs, you know, that he has not, that, that, that have not, uh, you know, that have not done well. They have not done any iota of their job yet they get paid look at the former one we saw how much was in his home everybody saw how much was in that one's home that's a man who uh, seemingly says he's you know who seemingly said he's uh, uh, you know he's looking after nigerians and uh, he's a service chief at the end of the day we saw that you know there was no substance to any of such things you see so these are wickedness if you want to say and Femi Fanika your deal of a sudden is out of a deep slumber Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Tommy Fani Kayode says, over the jailbreak and what has happened, President Muhammad Buhari have to resign honorably. Before he does, all the service chiefs should be sacked immediately. This is not politics. We cannot allow it. The former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Kayode, has called for the sack of all the service chiefs. Lieutenant Farouk Yahaya and all the military heads command over the, over the specs of insecurity ongoing in the country now says this is not acceptable and Nigerians cannot continue to allow this to happen. If Buhari is a man who is wise, he should, he should honorably, honorably resign as well. Even if Anika Yode made the call, why urging President Muhammad Buhari, the federal government, to do more? to protect Nigerians, and if they can't, he should leave the position and leave it immediately. He was reacting to the report of the Department of State Security Services, DSS, warning the military about the attack of the Kaduna train and Koji prison by this terrorist, but nothing was done until it eventually happened, saying this is not acceptable and these people cannot remain in office, no, not ever. In a series of twists, all the all progress the all progressive congress apc chief team wondered if the nigerian military command was incompetent or weak or something must or something needs to be done according to femi fani the situation whereby the dss not only warned the military about the kanu kaduna about the abuja about the abuja kaduna train attack and kidnapping, but also the Koji prison break before the boat took place and the military refused to act to prevent any resistance, to give caution, the true caution to the wind and raise no alarm or did not ensure that Nigerians were safe shows that there is more to this. Unless something is done immediately, it cannot continue, we will not allow it to happen. Our young soldiers and junior officers are the ones fighting and being killed on the battlefield. Yet the senior ones, the military command, they sit in the office, weak, doing nothing. Nigerians must rise up and ensure that this evil come to an end. The potential for Nigeria to change what is currently on ground is very important. If Buhari is a man of honor, he should respect himself and resign because his Chevy's chiefs he has always picked are not people who can protect Nigerians in any way. This is Femi Fani Kayode. This is Femi Fani Kayode asking Buhari to do the honorable thing by resigning. To do the honorable thing by resigning. You see, resign because, I mean, you are your service chiefs. The same, D DSS now just released a statement today saying that we warned them. They knew this was going to happen. They knew. We told them this was going to happen. We did. We did told them that this was going to happen, but none of them paid attention. They all turned a blind eye. They all turned a deaf ear and nobody stood. Everybody pretended like nothing was happening. Nobody stood. They all pretended. They all forgot that, you know, they, they, there is need 
for them to protect lives and property. And so Femi Panikan of the day is telling Buhari, please resign. But before you do, sack the service chiefs because they were told about the Kaduna Abuja train. Nothing was done. They were told about every one of them, but nothing was done. So how do you how do you come out to 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 say that there is competence in the in our government? Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of Great Britain, resigned yesterday. Buhari should do the needful as well. He should she take a cue from there and do the needful and quietly resign. Okay, she quietly resign and be and be a good man and just resign for once. He should do something honourable for himself and for his life rather than sitting down there and doing nothing and claiming the name of a president that is irresponsible, doing nothing to protect lives and property, and then you stand to say that you are the president, excuse me, you are destroying lives and property, and it is wrong for you to continue in that kind of way and that kind of form and do nothing to save the people. It is terrible. Things that are going on are clear indications that nothing is happening. We don't have any form of leadership. And Buhari cannot even, he's not even helping matters. He's just there, figurehead, if you care to say figurehead and is doing absolutely nothing you know to save the people now this is Femi Fanny Kayode blasting him and saying it's time for you to take a walk and while you are that while you are at it take your service chiefs along the same ch service chiefs were alerted with regards to the Kaduna Abuja train they did nothing as we speak now I'm talking about today July 2022 now people are still in, uh, in captivity because they refused to do something. Even the Kaduna state governor said he warned them. He told them they were aware. So that means these people, they know where these people are. But nobody's doing anything. Nobody's rising up. Nobody's taking responsibility. And then you tell us that. So what is the excess of the information they are getting if they will not act on it, if nothing will be done? Excuse me. Hey, if something is not done, this man is just having a laugh. Probably he's in on it. Probably he's in on it. We don't know. Probably. Okay, it's a probability statement. Not say it. probably he's in on it. And we want to know the truth. We want to get out of it. I want to ensure that this man, you know, if you cannot, you cannot take the place of president, please leave. Please leave. Let a competent hand come in. And again, you can see the party forging for themselves. Of course, that's what political parties do. But that's why Nigerians, we must look before we leap. Going forward, we can, in case you're not aware, Campaign materials are out for Ashiwajo Mebola Tinubu is a phone. Uh, this phone is not going to be shared during the elections. The phones, sharing of the phones will soon begin. And the essence is for you to see that, you know, uh, Tinubu has you at heart. More people are going to share other things. But for Tinubu, the campaign material is a phone. So look out for it. If you want to vote for him, you could have a pair of phone free of charge. But is that all? Is, is that all? Leave us a comment. Bye for now.